So this is H1Z1. Now, this has been a survival game, as you guys know, that's been hyped up since, like, I think it was March last year? I don't, I'm not sure. I think it was, like, further more down the road than that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it came out not that long ago. I think it was, like, two days ago on uh, January 15th. The game uh, came out for early access on Steam, and it was hyped a lot. And uh, a lot of people tried joining and stuff, and the servers were broken, and yada yada, that stuff happened. And we had to wait four hours to get into a server on, on a Twitch stream that I would not like to tell you guys about. But, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, it's finally out. <laughs> and, uh, like I said, again, this is an early alpha, so there are some bugs and stuff going on um, that are very annoying. And I think I actually, I think those are zombies actually over there, so. No, wait, no, that's, that's a player, okay. But, um, anyways, in this video, we're just going to be playing, you know, seeing how the game is. I've already played eight hours. Uh, half of that is, the, like I said, the four-hour stream where I was waiting to see that man is skiing on water. Can you run on water? Holy shit. Hey! Hi! I'm gonna have to break these men apart. Hurry up! Not working. I'm gonna have to break them apart with my fists. Alright, he went down without a fight. <laughs> okay, that was very... I, I thought he was going to fight back, but I guess not. So, I think that was actually a... Uh, I, was, I think that was actually lag, as you saw right there. Uh, I think maybe he lagged a bit. So, there is a big problem with lag in the game currently. But, um, as I was trying to say, we're going to be playing this today. We're going to see if it's good or not. Like I said, I already played it for 8 hours. Um... This is a first person only server because I couldn't join a third person only. Like the wait times were like 20 minutes to get into a third person only or a third person and first person. So I was like, fuck that. And uh, I went ahead and joined a first person only one. Didn't want to wait to play it. I prefer first person only anyways, so. All right, I don't think they're following me. I can't seem to take off my shirt. Here, I can shred it from here, right? Oh, that's good, okay. I thought I had to put it in my inventory first. Oh wait, no, that didn't even work. Okay, so it seems you can't shred your shirt. Oh, maybe it's because I have these in it. Here we go, let's try out this. Now shred. There we go, okay, that worked. So, if you guys don't know, currently in the game what you have to do is you have to discover items before you can actually craft them. So if I put this wood stick in here, and I put this cloth in here and press discover, this should discover a makeshift bow, and then if I put the wood stick in there, discover, I can discover an arrow. And this way I can actually craft a bow and arrow. And uh, if I craft this, there goes the bow, and then we craft some arrows. We, you can actually craft, I think, uh, two wooden arrows from each stick, so it's very OP at the moment. But uh, the bow is kind of hard to aim with itself, though, so I guess it's not really that OP. I, can, I have to get rid of one of these. I'm gonna get rid of the hammer. So here goes the bow and arrow right here. Wait, wrong button. Here we go. So it's very, actually kind of buggy, this bow and arrow. Um, like I said, aim's kind of off. You have to aim a little bit above whatever you're trying to kill. So like, I have to aim above his head. And you see it hit his head right there. That just barely missed. So yeah, looks like there's a survivor right there too. What's your business? State your business.
It's never gonna reach him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes if you hit zombies like this, you can actually get loot. So, that's what I'm doing. See, as I got my arrow back right there. So, I don't know what that guy's trying to do. I don't know how to make this hatchet, though. This is this looks really cool. It says makeshift hatchet. Huh. I wonder how you make that. Maybe you have to get scrap metal. That's probably it. Now, I know probably somebody's going to be the buzz killer on this video, guys, and say, you're KOSing, don't ruin the game, it just came out, stuff like that. But personally, um, you know, like, I know people are going to say that probably about this game. It's not really a factor of, you know, you KOS, you're, you're an asshole or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's just, the game, it's kind of hard to explain, you know? Like, the game kind of needs KOSers. They're kind of the bandits of the groups, you know? And, uh, it's just, I, I just, <laughs> I should probably stop talking. <laughs> uh, that was so bad. I should just restart. <laughs> that was just the worst. That was a horrible way of explaining it. Anyways, I'll explain it, like, very easily. You know, I bought the game. I will do over whatever the fuck I want with the game. If I tend to KOS, I tend to KOS. If I tend to be friendly, I tend to be friendly. If you don't like the way I play the game, you know, just, you go play it however the hell you want to play it. It's okay. I don't care. It's not like KOSing is a virus and I spread it by doing it more. It's not really a virus. It's not nothing like, it's not anything like that. Um, if a person KOSs because of a KOSer, that should be, that's just because they're mad. They should learn to, you know, control their anger more and be faithful to what they do, you know? That's just, that's how it works. <laughs> Hi. It's me again. Alright, I think my voice chat is actually broken because I can't hear anybody. Mic volume, zero. I'm going I'm to turn this back up to 50. See if that fixes that. Talk volume, 50. Volume, 65. Enabled. Push the talk. VPNP. Okay. That should be alright. I don't know why I can't hear some people. I noticed that because that other guy was trying to talk to me earlier, and uh, he just, it was like a flat out, couldn't hear him, so, I don't know. I want to actually, you can actually, what's really cool about the game in its state, is even knowing it just came out, you can already gather wood. Oh shit, I guess I just broke that. But, uh, you can already gather wood in the game, and I guess make a base, I believe. It's not like, you know, other mods where once it first comes out, you can't do stuff like that, you know, because lag purposes. But, uh, it's really cool. And is this one of my arrows? I guess I'm not. Oh, wait. I guess it was. Huh. Really weird. Oh, we're, we're about to actually come across a, uh, a map right here. So, if you guys didn't know, this map is pretty big on this game. It's not, you know, small. But it's not, you know, in terms of Shinaris wise it's not that big, you know. But, uh, in terms of rust, I guess, you know, it's big. So, this is one of the little map places that you can go to, to see what the map is, or where you are in the map. And as you can see right there, that arrow, that's where we are currently. So, we're right by a Pleasant Valley. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go up this road, and then take a left, and then go directly towards Pleasant Valley. And, uh, the reason why is because Pleasant Valley has a lot of loot, and it has a lot of places to go. And there's also a lot of bandits around there too, though, so, we got to watch out. <laughs> Uh, I should probably go make more arrows before I go though because like I said lots of bandits means there's gonna be a lot more people that are gonna be shooting at me and I need to be ready I do think that whenever you uh, chop down a tree and it's inside of your vicinity that you can um, you can still craft the stuff from it. I believe you can. I don't know. I tried it out earlier and I think it worked, so let's try it. That's just 
the best animation ever. So now that there's a log inside of my uh, proximity, I think I can craft still. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, you see it still works. So it automatically crafts for you, which is really cool. So you don't have to actually, you know, keep on pressing like craft, 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 craft. It automatically does it. That's a really cool thing instead of a game. You know, most other games should actually think about this because it's it's a it's a painkiller to be honest. And I, I hate whenever I have to keep on going through multiple context menus just to uh, craft one item instead of a game. So the fact that, you know, they thought about that whenever they were making the game was very, you know, just thoughtful, I guess. <laughs> so as you guys can see, one log, it makes a lot of uh, wooden arrows. I think we actually use two logs. So I think one log takes up, I think, 13 arrows, I believe. We'll see. Let's see how much that we have. So we have 35 arrows from those. And I think we had three arrows before, so we made 32 from three logs. That's actually pretty insane, considering that didn't even wear out my axe that much. So, yeah. If you guys need any logs out there, go chop down them trees. Zombies, stop it. I got him, I got him! Hey! Don't kill me, I just killed him! You fucking mother, stupid! You fucking mother! Hey, that was... This guy's gonna be a hard one to kill. Okay, alright, I think I got this now. There we go. I need to immediately hit as soon as I turn around. This guy's a little bugger. <laughs> I can see his tactic. I'm not pressing. Okay, that is buggy. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. There we go. He's dead. I gotta try to get his loot really fast. There's no way I can get it though. Here, wait. Let me try this. Running life. There we go. Got his running rifle. Or running rifle. His hunting rifle. There goes that. He's got water. Like he's got a shit ton of water. Let's take that. Uh. Oh wait. I can actually just click it, and it'll go ahead and do it for me. He has a shotgun too. Fresh chicken. First aid kits. Fresh chicken. These. Now this is a problem right here. There we go. Alright, it looks like that zombie actually dropped something too. Let's check this. Oh, he dropped rounds. There goes that. Spark plugs, that's great. Metal sheet. M19A. Oh, this guy just has so much loot that I can't grab. I don't know, I don't understand how the hell that he has these, because he had his hunting bow out, or his axe. Hi there. Hey, don't Hello? come, don't come close. I really am tempted to shoot this guy. 
I really am. I think I let him off the hook. What? You want to join us? Oh sure. I have I wanna shoot this at somebody, so I guess I'll join you. <laughs> if you guys don't know what I just did, I just twerked. If you guys don't know, he, he was on. doing it. So, all right. Well, you guys are just sitting there. So, I think I can trust these guys for a bit. So, I don't want to shoot those guys. I'm looking around. Maybe we'll find somebody to shoot this with. <sighs> you know, some people ask me, Focus, why do you KOS? Why do you kill a person whenever you first meet them? Why do you, you know, cause people to get mad by killing them on site? And you know what my response is going to be from now on whenever I say, or whenever somebody asks me that question? I'm going to send them a link to the end of this video and show them exactly what just happened right there. I'm going to show them that. <laughs> That's why I KOS. That is why I kill people on site. I'm not mad or anything. I'm just, I knew I was going to die soon, but just the fact that, you know, I was being nice and I wasn't killing those guys. I was helping them out and they just, as soon as they find a pistol and ammo, kill me. It's just the greatest. But, um, anyways, guys, remember if you're buying off Amazon, make sure you click that link down below. It's an affiliate link. It really helps out the, uh, YouTube and stuff. And if you're shopping on G2A, make sure you click the G2A down, link down below. You'll get games cheap, you know, cheaper than Steam, usually most of the, most of the cases. Um, anyways, this has kind of been a shitty episode, but I just wanted to show off the new game, H1Z1, of course. And, you know, make a uh, episode about it on YouTube. So, see you guys next time. Peace out.